Hello friends, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator short video tutorial on how to install liveries or any scenery add-ons, so on and so forth. So this, this method will work for liveries for any aircraft as well as the, the scenery that you can find on the internet at various websites. So this will be my last tutorial. Uh, for the next four weeks because I will be on vacation going out of country to visit my parents in my home country uh, therefore I will be not posting any videos until I come back but we will uh, we will share again uh, we will live stream again when I'm back so what we will do is we will share a resource for downloading deliveries which I use most of the time and then we will look into what other um, downloads this website offers for Microsoft Flight Simulator users. And then we will look into how to install liveries specifically for Airbus A320NX by Fly-by-Wire team. But this method should apply to all aircraft and all deliveries that are available for any aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So bear with me for a second. We will just jump to Google Chrome and we will type in flightsim.to, not flightsimulator.com. To is the website. Hit enter and this is flightsim.to. This has aircraft liveries for a lot of aircraft, pretty much all aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Scenery for international, regional airports, uh, some landmarks, helipads, mountains, landscape, cities, so on and so forth that you can check. It, you can filter it by country and see what, uh, what is offered for each country. And you can hit and see more countries if you want to and select the flag um, offer some aircraft that are either done by third-party developers or um, delivery mega pack team so on and so forth so you can you can discover what sim uh, flight sim.to has to offer for yourself and you know uh, navigate around to see if there is anything that is interesting to you. The good thing I like about it, the flight sim.to is if you make an account and go to my downloads, it will show you hey, these things that you downloaded does have some updates, so you might want to consider going in here and updating these add ons that you have downloaded. So as you see, there is an update to the Japan Airlines livery that I download for the A320NX. But this is a good way of keeping an eye on the updates and how your liveries and add-ons that you download are doing. And these updates sometimes might be critical for compliance with the new version of the simulator. So keep this in mind. So for the liveries, let's jump into what we are here for. Let's go back to Flight Simulator to homepage for liveries obviously you expand the aircraft liveries uh, menu and then go to airbus which we are focusing for now but as i said this will apply to any other livery as well select fly by wire a3 and x so this is for the fly specifically for the fly by wire mod there is the default Airbus A320 and then Project Megapack Airbus A321 and A320. These are the aircraft uh, that are released by Project Megapack. If you are interested, I haven't downloaded them. I have never flew with them. I have never experienced them. So I don't know how they are and how they perform, but you can figure it out for yourself. For the purpose of this tutorial, we go to fly by wire A3 and X. And what I like to do here when I I am to when I am in the menu for the fly by wire A3 NX for Microsoft Flight Simulator liveries, I filter them for last updated so that I can see which liveries are updated by the developer recently. Okay, 
what you can do at this point is also the other option I want to talk about is you can go to the most downloaded and this will give you the most famous liveries downloaded by flightsim.to users for instance this easyjet livery is downloaded 24,000 times over 24,000 times this Vizair livery is downloaded over 12,000 times and I kind of like this livery so let's just use this for our example Click to the delivery name when you want to find the delivery you want to download and then you will see a download link down below. Okay. Uh, let me get rid of my old downloads. Hit the download and you will see a counter that will start counting and you will see this delivery downloaded into your uh, downloads folder. Okay, so it is now downloaded. Let me bring this over so that we can see the downloads folder. As you see, this is a RAR file uh, or 7-zip file, .7z. And that's what I'm using. I'm using 7-zip for my compressed folders or compressed folder extractions. Right click, extra 7-zip gives you a menu item here when you install it and it's free you can search google uh, or google 7zip and you will be able to find the download link very easily extract to blah 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 and it will extract to a folder with the same name of the file when you go in here you will see a320 delivery with halja halia however it's pronounced and when you go one more level in, you will see a sim objects folder, a layout.json and manifest.json. This is the folder that we need to copy into our community folder. Okay. So let me open the community folder here. And hold on, guys. I will bring it over. All right, this is the community folder. We have the fly-by-wire aircraft. That's the only thing in my community folder for this video. I emptied my community folder. What we will do is we will copy and drag this folder over into our community folder. That is done. This also works for sceneries over here. If you look for an international airport and self follow the same logic and see the last updated ones. This Echo Delta Delta Papa is a nice one so we will download this as an example hit download we will download the main file which is the most up-to-date there are some other versions if you want to download the older versions but we will stick to the most up-to-date one and you'll still see the same counter counting it will download into the downloads folder when it's done this is a little bit bigger file so it might take a little bit longer to download but when it's done you will do the same thing extract this folder file into a, a folder and then copy that folder into your community folder to have the custom airport or custom scenery whichever you prefer to download from the scenery menu whether it's a landscape or mountain or bridges stadiums landmarks regional bundles whatever all follows the same logic download extract copy into community folder and this is what you need to follow to have this uh, installed into your Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the download is almost complete. I will open the community folder here and then downloads folder next to it like so. It is still downloading so we will give it a couple more seconds. As you see it's almost there and I downloaded this couple times when recording this video because my simulator crashed a couple times during the record I think this is the third or fourth time I'm recording this all right it's downloaded as you see this is a dot zip file so Windows can extract this if you right click and then extract all and hit extract it will extract this into a folder okay and we will take a look at that folder in a second it will also uh, open that folder but we will close this and we will just follow it from here this text this is the extracted folder if we go in there you'll see a readme file put in there what by the developer that gives you a change log and what is changed with the new version you can read it for yourself and the second 
file or folder in there is a bunch of folders and layout.json manifest.json. So this is the folder we need to copy or drag into our community folder. From this point, we will just launch the simulator and then take a look at if we can see this livery and the scenery we downloaded in the simulator. I will see you in a little bit after loading into the simulator. All right, friends, we are now in the simulator, as you see. So we will go into the world map menu, go to the aircraft selection and airliners. When you, this is the 747-787. And when you scroll to the end, we will see fly-by-wire simulations, A320. And this is the default A320, which is uh, where it says Airbus A320 Neo. And as you see, delivery we downloaded is selected by default because we have only three deliveries and this is alphabetically, I believe, or this is loaded first, not alphabetically because it says Viz Air, but this is the default Airbus and then fly-by-wire delivery and then this is the one we downloaded. And we will also go and select the Echo Delta Delta Papa airport to take a look at it and then select the gate one of the gates uh, of group live weather is fine we will adjust the time to maybe a reasonable time and then hit fly and we will wait for the simulator to load and we will check the livery and the scenery to see if it's properly loaded by the way the bigger the size of your community folder is the slower your simulator will load all right, we are loaded into the airport and let's hit ready to fly. And let's go outside and take a look at the livery we downloaded. As you see, the Vizair livery that we downloaded is here. It is really high resolution, so it looks perfect. Uh, even if I get closer, the details are still there. There is the raccoon eyes. And yeah. So it looks great. Also, if we go outside and take a look at the scenery, this is the airport scenery we downloaded and you can easily tell that this is a custom scenery and it's nicely done by the developer, so it looks great. I like it. There is the DHL warehouse, which is also, I think, coming with this scenery. That's the cargo ramps and all that. That's the runway. So yeah, the delivery looks nice and also the scenery looks like. So this is how you install uh, a scenery into Microsoft Flight Simulator as well as an aircraft, aircraft uh, livery. So this should work for each and every aircraft if you follow the same logic and download the livery specific to that aircraft, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, you shouldn't have any problems, uh, as I said, seeing it in, in your game, uh, if, if you follow the steps that I showed you, okay? So, if you were able to follow up to this point, congratulations, this is how you install a livery in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this is how you install scenery. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, this was something I promised to um, to Koshik to submit and publish before I leave for vacation. So I will be seeing you guys when I'm back from my vacation at the end of June. Take care, stay safe, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.